Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mass Effect. Rob here. Um, this is episode six. <clears throat> Sorry. Throat's kind of closed up for a second. <laughs> uh, so in the last episode, we finished up our business on the Citadel. Um, mostly just running around, completing all the various tasks that I um, accomplished. The only thing left now is I have to scan the Keeper's finish scanning the keepers and there's like one other th oh there's like this whole side story with um with this guy who's like our biggest fan whatever um but now we're actually on the actual mission in the game um which is finding liara going to noveria and pharos and then um those are the three big missions and then there's like three more missions that you know are all the second half of the game kind of thing and then there's all this extra stuff that we can do, but for right now, we're gonna go talk to people. Um, Commander, uh, no, because he's not gonna say anything interesting. He's just gonna talk about huh, what it's like to be Joker. <clears throat> but if we go downstairs. There we go. Do 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 Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. But I'm so shiny. It's kind of gross. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Okay. We'll talk another time together. Reminder. So pretty much, I think the only people who are actually going to say anything to me worthwhile listening to are the newbies. I haven't actually been on the ship since we got everybody else. So as I said, I'm only going to be recording like the main stuff. Uh, so all the basically level grinding aspects of the game, which are just going through various like other assignments as opposed to actual missions. Um... Probably not gonna do. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do them, obviously, but. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. No problem. I've been working with the Spectre for the best time I've seen You knew? Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your own way. The C section varies by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True. Meeting the Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take out a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSET wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure comes first. That's why I said it. That was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in rank, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSET's handling the Saren was difficult. I just couldn't take it anymore. Forget about it. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. I know I'm right. Either way, I couldn't take the moment to fix it. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Woot. Inspect the Mako? Cool. Are you going to say anything interesting to me, Ashley? Commander? Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk while I'm working? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty square away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Okay. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. She wants to get it on. Nice ship, Fat Shepard. What can I do for you? 
personal loan career. What's your story, Max? There's no story. Mm hmm. Go ask the quarry if you want stories. Don't be an ass. You've probably been lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the jury and almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. But. No, yeah. You tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Of course it is. Seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? So, what? Just up here. You can't be all that bad. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Crowley. Touchy subject? I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Crowley, I gave up on them long ago. Why are you upset then? Ugh, and I don't care anymore. Come on, right? Boy. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll get rid of her. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board, she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. She's useful. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Where else have you served, Ed? You name a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold the candles of the Normandy, though. Cool. Carry on, Adam. Bye. Hey, girl, hey. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a dry floor like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Gathering information on us? I don't like the idea of aliens studying the architecture. Okay, I didn't mean for that to be racist. We're on the same side here. My people have more reason to hate the guests than anyone, remember? But you can't blame me for being a little excited. I never dreamed I'd get a chance to travel on a ship as advanced as the Normandy. You're into ships? I have no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It's Congress being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cap stocks and second hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the get. That was three hundred years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Okay. I should go. See you later. Peace. Thought that was another thing I could look at. So now... Let's, um... Let's go get... What is her name? Liara. Stretch. 
So, um, since there's like three main missions, I try to uh, give everybody a little fair playing time. So I'll take two people to go get Liara, two people to Pharos, and two people to Novaria. Um, so we'll see how all that goes. When it goes. And save really quick. Just so we don't have to do all that again. Let's do it. Welcome to the galaxy. This is the galaxy. You can see all the other galaxies down there, hidden away within the deep space. Okay, so I'm going to nerd out here for a little bit before we continue into the game. I am a huge space nerd. Like, I have the biggest boner for space. Um, like, some people are, like, into chemistry or... Everybody has, like, their science thing. Chemistry or, um, dinosaurs. I mean, I'm into dinosaurs, too. But, like, chemistry, dinosaurs, you know, IDK, um, pick a thing. Uh, for me, it's space. Like, anything that has to do with other planets or other galaxies or anything, like, where they're like, oh, yeah, on the news, like, this other... Nebula was discovered, I'm like, oh my god, I want to know. <laughs> I just love it, because it's like, the whole, it's the final frontier kind of thing. Big boner. Huge. Meanwhile, to Artemis Tau. I don't know which one. Is it Athens? I think it's Athens. Um. What was this one? Okay. I don't remember which one it is, and that takes a lot of time trying to get there. Um, I will do all of those in the middle. Um, finally, our to Sony. Somewhere in the Artemis Town Cluster. Okay, so it does. I thought it was going to tell me where it was specifically. So I love this one so much, this game so much, this and like Star Wars and Star Trek and anything with stars in it. We're just look at that. Like, it's like fuck, you know? <laughs> uh, now you have a taste of my big boner for space. Alright, let's do it. Oh. Could actually leave the citadel first. All right, and now we have to actually scan the worlds. Ah, oh, I forgot how much I love this game. Psych. We discovered gas. And all this is mostly just for, like... Honestly, I don't even know what the whole, like, what the gas and everything is for. Thoros. Turian and Signa rediscovered, or recovered. Scans of the planet Pharos reveal an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of debris is marked with the Magna Colony insignia. So there's a bunch of other little mini things that we're going to be doing throughout the game as we scan the planets, looking for whatever we can. Maybe it is Sparta. Um trying to find um, the 
Turing insignias, the matriarch's writings. There's all sorts of little things that they wear elements, um, which like everything else I get gives you experience and there's like some people you can give stuff to, but then the elements in this one, um, like in two and three, you scan them. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. All right, let's go check it out. This will give you a taste of what it's like on one of the random ass planets. See, everything that this game does is really good in theory. In practice, I have to navigate this in the Mako. What? So, there's the distress signal. Anomaly. Ugh. Like, in theory, this is super fun. And at first, it was. Hella fun. I'm actually gonna go for the other one first, because that is a mountain that I don't feel like navigating right now. And then you actually start doing it for an entire game's worth of play. And it's like, holy shit, this is taking forever. And it's literally, like, doing this is just for... Hello there, Threshamal. Where'd you go? You calm down. Oh, shit. And we're on fire. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Run, run away, run away, run away right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Leave us alone. Oh, my God. Dude, I have to heal, like, twice. What the shit? Come on. Because logic says if the Mako is destroyed, we die. Hey. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, you bastard. You did this to me. Swim away, Fugu Fish. Thresher Mob, bitch. Ah. 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 
now. Oh, really? Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for letting me know about the enemy that we've contacted. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh. Alright. Okay. Oh, so that happened. And now, after we heal again, uh, so now we go to Kohaku, Ko, Kohoku, Ko, I don't know how to pronounce his name now. Um, tell him what happened, and then we'll get more experience. So this is essentially all the things that I will not be recording. Mostly this, like just like specifically stuff where I'm riding around in the Mako. But then like all the extra stuff, like if there's um there's stuff where we actually go into buildings and we fight things, those I might record, but just this kind of stuff. This will be like when I'm done with the main portion of our playthrough. Through for once I when I finished the playthrough for the day, I'll spend all my extra time doing this. Recover artifact. Ooh. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Mylon's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. And then that's another thing of the uh, Solarian IDs. Those are just all the different things. Like, I can just find those, like, on planets or wherever. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want me recording this. That way. And this is about half of the game, to be totally honest. Like, if you actually, like, went through and did, like, a pie chart on while you were playing Mass Effect, what you did, this would be about half of the chart. Shavage. Of course, I'm out. Um. Yes. Then there's that. Like, I might not have a high enough electronic to be able to go get stuff, so it's like, what the hell? It's stupid. Then we get back in the Normandy and we go find the R. Scan it. Survey it. Rothian data disk rediscovered. Re recovered. While scanning the asteroid field in the Sparta system, you found one. You found signs of habitation. A recon team was sent to investigate one of the larger asteroids. The rockets had a small functioning biodome, but no sign of anyone still living there. There was, however, a data console with an intact Rothian data disk inside. Hooray! So, she's not here. Uh, 
she's inside this asteroid belt. I forget where she is exactly. But no, not here. Let's try Kenosis. Kenosis. I don't know. Ignore me. Theorem. Yep, there she is. And the question is, who do I want to bring with me? Hmm. Okay. So. Noveria has lots of biotic and mechanical enemies. My organic and tech enemies. <laughs> so I feel like I want to save Tally for that. And then... I don't know, this one's pretty... pretty even, to be honest. Maybe... Garrus... and... Alright, normally I would bring Ashley and Caden, so let's bring Garrus and Rex, maybe? Definitely gonna bring Garrus. Save Ashley for Pharos. Caden. Yes. Try to mix it up, because, you know, I mean, there's only so many things you can do. And, yeah, there is different dialogue, depending on who you bring with you where. But... Like, normally, I would bring Liara to Novaria, but... Alright, let's do it. Oh shit. Upsy daisy. <sighs> Garrus, why are you dying? What purpose does that serve me? Holy shit. No point in asking where it came from, because we're going to kill it all. Hey. Ow. Yeah, bitch. Get that out of here. You don't know me. You don't know my life. <laughs> I don't 
Have you met me, Caden? I'm Commander Goddamn Shepard. I always take him on. But yeah, I actually don't think I can take that one on. Fairly certain I cannot, uh get through that way, so let's go around, shall we? Through with your lies. Ah, crazy Mako rampage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take it all. No. Eh. Seriously, Garrus, why are you dying? I'm afraid I don't understand. I'm gonna shot you, Garrus. I'm gonna shot you right in the face. And then, uh, surprise, I never knew these crates were here. So that's fun. It's a fun little bonus. Seriously, Caden, did you not move at all? Caden, do you want me to kill you? I'll do it. I'm crazy like a fox. I can't get to that building now. Unless I destroy that thing. Now let's see if we can get through. Oh, alright. Seems easy enough. Crate. Uh, yes, please. Probably gonna have to um <sighs> break this video, this mission into two parts. That'll be good though. We could seriously, because then I can.
stuff. Totally lost my train of thought. I'm really bad. Really bad at that. Nothing in there. Oh, now you decide to come out. Now you want to help. You calm down. Locked crate. Whatever could be inside. We'll find out. Take it all. Let's see, we are, we can make it there. <laughs> okay. You know, it turns out we are not going to make it. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the video. Oh, damn, I can't save, though. So there's enemies about. Okay, so let's kill these some bitches first. <laughs> so this one's going to be on the bit, bit on the longer side. Get up. Anti Bueno. Will you go get knocked in there? Come on. And now you're a part of me. Orgasm. Alright, and now I'm gonna have to end the video here. So, oh my god. Fuck. I can't save until I'm out of the. Oh, right. Just as long as I'm not actually in the. No. Back it up. Isn't as long as I'm just not in the Mako I can. 
Yeah, okay. Lovely. Alright, so let's... It's going to be a really long video then. If I had known that, I would not have continued on. I would have stopped, done a little, couple extra things before we went any further. Ugh. Hmm. What are you gonna do, you know? You live, you learn, then you get loves. This is the right way, right? Yes. No, thank you. Level up. Woo -hoo. Oh my god, can there be any more enemies here? Yes, there can. I should not say anything. Alright. Now that that's over with, we can't go any further this way. Fuck. I still won't be able to save, though. <gasps> I can! Yes! Okay. Saving now. I will see you all in the next episode of Mass Effect or whenever the video you decide to watch next. Have a good week. And, yeah, I will see you all later.